Introducing Tour Response Stripe. The tour quality performance and materials of Tour Response with alignment that's impossible to ignore. The tailor-made Tour Response Stripe. Play in color. The most fun I'm having is a, uh, taking our members on tours and watching kind of their amazement because when you present a, a, a golf course restoration to a membership, you don't really have anything tangible to show them or sell them, right? We are going on, you know, drawings and images and the word of our architect and the word of people who are, you know, uh, I would say working on getting the project through and uh, now we're able to show them something and they're, they're really seeing um, what uh, a proper restoration done by you know, one of the world's best restoration architects can do for a club like this. Let's talk about the nine that is almost complete. Huh. Yeah. Where things are at there for you right now, just how cool this thing really looks now that it's almost done. Yeah, the Mackenzie nine is, uh, um, it's amazing. Um, unfortunately, the year that we uh, restored the Mackenzie nine, we did it in the wettest year in Manitoba history. So that created some challenges with uh, um, some damage caused some areas because machinery moving around such that we didn't quite anticipate. So the growing has been a little more of a challenge than we like, but that just simply takes time. And uh, the surfaces are starting to get really good now. Uh, we're gonna do a little work this fall to make that even better. But once it's mature, middle of next summer, it's going to be playing unbelievable. The, the, the bunkering reflects um, Mackenzie's original intent, which our bunkers were, were long gone before that. Um, the greens have been expanded, uh, converted to bent grass, fairways converted to bent grass, tees uh, reconstructed, converted to bent grass. It, it's going to be, it is already, but it's going to be an amazing playing experience once the fairways and greens speed and firm up a little bit and get into a, just a little bit better condition. But growing in Manitoba is tough because we only have four months to grow grass. From what you see there to now what we see that's going to come over the next year or so with the renovations that are being done on the other side of the course, does that just add to it all right now out here at St. Charles? Yeah, the Ross 9 renovation is going a lot better. It's a lot drier. It's a, it's a larger acreage property, so it's easier to move machinery around and not create damage to prime playing areas. But uh, the Ross 9 is, uh, is, is it's going to be spectacular. You can see the bunkers behind me. Again, the shape of, of all of these bunkers are so unique. Like these architects brought a distinct shape bunker and a distinct green style to their architecture. And over time, all of that was lost here at the club. And to no one's fault other than the golf course got old. And we're bringing all of that back. So when we're finished with the Mackenzie, the Ross, and then ultimately the Woods, we'll have three truly distinct nine hole experiences, which is, you know, unique to almost any golf course in the world. There isn't any golf course on the planet that had Donald Ross and Alan Alistair McKenzie on the property at the same time, let alone design two separate golf courses. And uh, our, our Woods 9 renovation is gonna be spectacular as well. So we'll have a, an extra, a really unique private club experience here at St. Charles when we're finished.